Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Travatech. So I'm quite sure if you have an Android system in your car, you are definitely looking away to get wireless Android Auto. Well, you might be having wired Android Auto or a wired Apple CarPlay, but having a wireless method of connecting to your car makes things so much easier and so much convenient. So there are three different ways of getting wireless Android Auto in your car system. The first method is to install the head unit reloaded app. Well, what's head unit reloaded app and how does it work? How to install and what's the exact process? Well, I've made a detailed video about this. And if you're interested in checking it out, the link to that video is provided in the description below. Go ahead and check it out and get wireless Android Auto. The second important method of getting wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay is by installing a car link it adapter. Well, you can purchase this adapter, just plug it into your car system. It doesn't matter which AVN system your car has, this car link it adapter will work fine. The car system only needs to have support for Android Auto. Again, I have made a very detailed video regarding this car link it adapter, how you can plug in this in your car, where you have to purchase it, what is its cost. All the details are covered in its own specific video and the link to watch that video is also given in the description down below. Check it out if you are interested. So the third and the last method in getting wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay is what we are going to be discussing in this particular video. So you might be having a Z-Link app in your car system which might support only a wired connection. But worry not, after you watch this video, you're going to get a wireless system right out of your Z-Link app. So before actually downloading the update file, make sure you watch this entire video so that you understand the entire process before actually going in and updating your car system. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. So guys, first things first, as you're seeing right now, I have opened up the Google Maps on my smartphone and I have currently navigated to a certain place. Now this is the Android car stereo system which I have and this is a Woodman Xtreme 1.0. So all I need to do is go ahead and open up the Bluetooth of my phone and just wait for a few seconds. So as you're seeing right now, the Bluetooth has opened and it is currently scanning for any of the Bluetooth devices available. Now this is going to connect to my Android car stereo system automatically and I don't have to do anything. So as you're seeing right now, the Z-Link app opened up automatically, I didn't do anything and the Android Auto is going to also pop up on the screen automatically. It's going to be a matter of maybe 5 to 10 seconds maximum and you don't have to do literally anything in order to open up the Android Auto on your Android car stereo system and this is one of the fastest and the easiest way available to access Android Auto on your car stereo. So as you're seeing right now on the left there is a Spotify screen and on the right you have the Google Maps and in case if I go ahead and click on the Google Maps it opens up the entire page dedicated specifically for Google Maps and if I want to go ahead and uh, pop in into Spotify so here's the Spotify button and if I want both of them on the screen at the same time I can always go ahead and click on the multi window button and it is going to pop up in a multi window. So this is one of the most amazing and most cool features of the Android Auto Cool Walk which is currently available everywhere and in case if you haven't watched my video on Android Auto Cool Walk you will find the link for that in the description of this video. So guys this is the greatest advantage of having a Z-Link 5 app and upgrading your Android car stereo system if you have an Android T5 Android car stereo or if you have a Woodman Xtreme 1.0 Android car stereo system just the way which I do. So before showing the exact update procedure, let me disconnect Android Auto so I can go ahead and show you the exact Z-Link app. So if I head into the app section and click on the Z-Link 5 button currently right here, it is still showing up the Android Auto, it hasn't, it hasn't disconnected, well there you go. Now currently it has disconnected and as you're seeing on the screen right now, this is the Z-Link 5 app and uh, this is a very beautiful app I think. It shows on the display both the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay screens on the screen and it keeps toggling between the two. There is also a screen mirroring option that is a wired mirroring. So I'll be making a dedicated video for this specifically and it's going to pop up very soon on my channel as well. So there is a wired mirroring and there is also a wireless mirroring option for both iPhone and Android as well. So you have the wired mirroring, wireless mirroring, wired and wireless both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto 
after you get this particular update so if you head into the settings of the z link 5 so this is the settings menu and on top you find the driver position option which i have selected as right because i am sitting currently in the right side of the car there is a floating navigation button which gives a small floating window for the z link 5 and then following that there is a hd option which renders the android auto in a high definition and most of the icons and letters become a bit smaller due to the high definition so i have currently disabled it and this is the background correction guys so this is a very important correction because if you want the android auto to start immediately as soon as you get in the car this background connection needs to be enabled and that's why i have currently enabled it and the default connection type is the last mode so if i go ahead and click on that link mode mirroring mode and last mode you have three options so currently i have selected it as last mode and here is the check for updates option and in this you can go ahead and see that this is currently a 5.2.17 version so as you're seeing right now this is a version 5.2 and this is the latest version of the z link 5 and if we go into the about section as you can see this is the version 5.2.17 and the copyright year is 2021 so now let's go ahead and show you what you need to do in order to install this android auto update so first of all guys scroll down from the top notification bar and head into your android car settings so as soon as you head into your android car settings you're going to get a settings menu so let me go ahead and uh, zoom in a bit so that you find it convenient to see so guys at the bottom as you can see if you scroll down there is a about car device button right here and it's written as t5 powered by all winner so if i go ahead and click on that so okay again on top you're going to see an option called t5 powered by all winner so this is very important guys you have to make sure that this is a t5 model because this update is not going to work on any other models except this t5 model and the woodman extreme 1.0 so once you confirm that this is a t5 model you can go ahead and start up the update so once you have downloaded the update file to your pc or your laptop copy it into a pen drive so in this case i have the update in this sony 32 gb pen drive now i'm currently going to go ahead and connect it to my usb port down here so as you can see i'm going ahead and connecting the pen drive into the usb port so as soon as i connected the head unit reloaded app detected the storage media well currently i'm going to go ahead and click on the cancel button so i'll head into the file manager or the file explorer of my android system head into the file manager and as you can see guys here on top you can find the option as u disk so as you can see here is the u disk option if i go ahead and click on the u disk button so this is my pen drive currently which is showing up on the android car stereo system and as you can see guys here is the update zip file which i have already copied into my pen drive and it is going to show up in a similar manner for you in your android car system as well so make sure that the pen drive is showing the update file on the android car system so that's it guys once it is showing up the update file right there so just head back scroll down and then head into the car setting of your android car studio system so here is a car setting so make sure that the car setting menu of your car also resembles exactly the same way to what i'm showing you on the screen right now so there will be a two setting option on top that is a general setting and system setting so make sure this is showing up in a similar manner so then head into the system setting option on the right and then once you head into the system setting click on the system update option on the left menu so as soon as you click on the system update it is going to provide you some information here and this is that update system with the update file in external storage media so here it is showing the update file and uh, as you can see it is showing as mnt media rw u disk update dot zip is available so this is very important and you have to make sure that this update dot zip file is available this comes written on the screen and as you can see at the bottom there is a start update button so if i go ahead and click on the start update again it is going to ask you update the whole system you cannot reverse this action so you have to click on the start update button two times not once and once you click on the start update button again it is going to start up the update and it's going to take some time maybe two to three minutes depending on the speed of your system and uh, once the update completes you will get to the home screen of the android car stereo system like this so make sure that the android car stereo system of your car is powered up the whole time otherwise it is going to hang and cause disturbance in the update process and your android car stereo system might get bricked and uh, you might not be able to recover it so make sure that the stereo system is always powered up during the update process for up to 5 to 10 minutes maybe and make sure that the update process completes successfully only then you can disconnect the power from your 
android car stereo system so this is the entire update process so once you are updated you are going to go ahead and uh, see the zlink 5 new updated software in your android car series system so in case if you are having a woodman stereo and if you have a agama car launcher as stock the most important thing to notice is that the agama car launcher will get deleted and you will have to reinstall it back again and you will have to enter the user id password back again in order to get into the full version of the agama car launcher in case if you are using a woodman extreme 1.0 and for any other T5 Android car stereo system, you get this particular home screen and you can scroll down the home screen very easily and most of the usage pattern will be very much similar to what you had previously. So this is the entire update process guys and uh, it's a very simple and a very easy process. So you just saw the entire update procedure, what are the things you need to do, what are the requirements. Just make sure that the AVN system is a T5 Android system or a Woodman Extreme 1.0. So the link to download the update file is given in the description below. There is no fees, there is no charge, you can download it for free. But do note that this works only with the T5 systems and if you try to install it in any other system, your system might get corrupted and I won't be responsible for it. So download it and install it at your own risk. Also one important thing to note is that many people have been asking me for an update file for Zlink. The thing to understand guys is that Zlink doesn't have a separate app or an APK file to download and install. Zlink comes with the entire system software. It is pre-installed within the system software. There is no separate Zlink app or there is no separate installation file of only the Zlink which is available anywhere. You have to update the entire car system in order to get an updated Zlink. So asking about an independent Zlink update file is not going to get you anywhere. So download the system software update file, follow the process which I just showed you in the video and finally at the end you will get a wireless system and definitely you are going to like it a lot. Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button before you watch any of the rest of the videos. Many more interesting and amazing videos are on my channel, do go ahead and check them out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.